Well, of course. Or in the newspaper and stuff. Like, but free classified. Nobody stuff. really reads anymore, so. It, <laughs> but ideally, <laughs> ideally we would post them all over. So, okay. so Liz is willing to run for secretary. So, all right. And I haven't sent the text saying what the main responsibility Good. is. But. Okay. She's not main responsibility. All right. And how do you verify that they're registered green on the? Is she green? Is she the, the facilitator. The facilitator has to contact the the registrar and confirm. confirm. But what we've done previously is we take people's word for it. And if they cause a problem, then we check up on them. And the, and the ones we think are going to cause a problem, we check on them right away, like right after the meeting. And Marnie, Marnie Glickman, not to name any names, but she... Um, Who's got the mitt bumper sticker at this meeting? Come Marnie on. Glickman. <laughs> oh, come on. Like, oh, you Marnie. saw that on my bike? Is it? <laughs> I, I saw the pro-life sticker first, and then the other one, and I was like, okay. That's... Hey, you know, I, uh, I saw that when I was walking up, like, am I on the right building? <laughs> <laughs> I go, this should be in. Basically, I sick my homies on them, and we see if they're who they say they are. We have ways. The Green Party. I thought this was nonviolent. We are. <laughs> We well, have to free to take out way. my chicken scoop. <laughs> there's many now, by the way. We just we just do a background check basically. Okay. We we go we co we contact the secretary say well two things. We have the database. So first we look at the database and we're like, is there a name there? Okay. Well great. That means a month or two ago they were green. It doesn't right. mean they're green today. Right. So then we call we then we have to call the county registrar. For each county person, we say, hey, is Joe Schmoe's registered green? And they're like, yep. <coughs> and, and we do that each time. It's a pain in the rumpus. Um, yeah, I just, it keeps locking up. So I think what we should do is we'll have to just write a physical list of the candidates. Oops. And then I think someone should consider making a motion, and the motion should be something like, let's extend the nominee. Should we, it should be something like, I move to extend the nomination period. So you're just missing one? By X days or something. You're just missing one now? I think, uh, I don't even know because the computer keeps locking up. We have, um, well, we're moving and leaving the state in August, oh, so yeah. it's it's not like, I you thought you were about to volunteer. <laughs> well, that's not a I, problem, actually. Because I mean, I'd be fine to volunteer, but we're going to be moving soon. Yeah, it just means they'd have to send another letter. Like the once there's a change, you just have to notify the Secretary of State of the. Do you change. have another at large open there? Is that um, more yeah, that? that was what was. Yeah, we can have more nominees than we need. We should have more nominees than we need. That would be good. That would make it look really like an election and not just a... Does anybody want to nominate me for at-large? Okay. Tell me your name. No. Not Hal. Only, this is Hal. I nominate Hal. Okay, for at-large. <laughs> I'll tell you. <laughs> Hal. Congratulations, Hal. Hal. You sure that's okay. not your Mitt Romney mm -hmm. bumper sticker? No. <laughs> okay. Hey, let me just tell you. While we're waiting for... It would be my vote. parents, <laughs> but not, not, not me. I was invited by Senator Reid to come hear Bill Clinton talk in Las Vegas. And, and I went, because I'm like, I never heard Bill Clinton talk in person. And I, so I went. Randomly, I was carrying a book that day. Normally, I wouldn't be carrying a book, but I, I was carrying a book. It was like this right wing military propaganda theory of what is going to happen for the next 100 years. And I picked up at the airport bookstore. It, I think it's called The Next Hundred Years. And it's very right wing. And I'm not right wing, um, as evidenced by my last 10 years of activity in the Supreme Court. Um, I'm reading this book. I'm waiting to go see Bill Clinton because he's like a pop star, right? And security pulls me out of the group. Has a little chat. I'm, I'm sitting in the back of the room reading a book. And they're doing like, you know, a Bill Clinton rally for Harry Reid when he's running against Sharon Angle. So they pulled me out, uh, plainclothes security, Metro, and Secret Service. 
take me into the bathroom, go through my bag, ask me a bunch of questions, all this stuff, ask me why I'm reading this book, ask me if I like Bill Clinton, ask me, you know, where I live and stuff, all this stuff. So, you can, yeah, so yeah, you just never know. I was reading like a right wing book. So. Did you show them your invitation from Harry Reid? Harry <laughs> Reid invited me to the thing. So, and, and, and they were like, well, why aren't you sitting up front with the speakers? And, and I'm like, well, because I'm Green Party and I, you know, I'm running against his son. So I thought it would be polite to sit in the back, you know? And, and they're like, okay. And, <laughs> yeah. yeah, they said, well, we're, we're going to let you go back out there, but no going up on stage, no shaking hands. There's a lot of cops here. That's what they told me. <laughs> that sounds kind of like a violation of your yeah, rights. Yeah. Well, yeah. So First that, time so, uh, Liz, Liz says that she is registered independent, so I should bring a form for her to fill out. Okay. Or she can do it online. Yeah. I'm already well, well, does it online, I'm already does the online count, or does it dump her under other? The online counts, it dumps her into other. But, sh but I called the Secretary of State, and I said, hey, what are you guys doing with all these others? How are we going to count them? And they said, oh, we count them. You're good. So we just have to... Well, when, no, but when, we, when I registered, I somehow indicated green because I got a confirmation that I'm in the Green Party. Yes. And yeah, I, I did got, it online. I got something on, in the... I got, like, my voter registration. It says green. GNP, yeah. whatever. Yeah. When did you do that? Right, right before the election. election. Uh-huh. Now it's Mine says was like other. three years ago or something. Yes. Now when you get it it says other. And for the last year people have been freaking out about it. The reason it says other is there are several minor parties that are not ballot qualified. There's the uh, Happy People Party, there's well, right, but I mean do we need to register on paper to change it? Yeah. Or is it Really, are we green? It just looks like another. You are green because you registered green. Right. They are misfiling you in a file called other. And on the website, if you go to Secretary of State now, if you look, there's no green party column in the number of voters. Was this part of a budget cut thing or something like that? No, or I'll tell you exactly was, what happened. It was because we're not ballot eligible anymore? I will tell you exactly what happened. It's happened twice that I know of. Mr. Larry Lomax with Clark County Registrar's office by himself one day decided to put us in the other category. And I was the only Green that called him on it four years ago. Four years ago. He tried it then. And I said, why are you lumping us in the other? We are a ballot access party. This was in 2010. And I said, uh, please, you know, just put us back in the Green Party category. How are we going to even know how many we are? Green. And he refused. And because I was running for office as a Green, I... I called the Secretary of State, and the Secretary of State's office said, requested he put us back in the green category. Uh, that was 2010. We lost our ballot access in 2011, and then he did it again. So all of the counties reported Green Party except for Clark County, Larry Lomax. He put us in the other county. But here, but why would you say we're in the other up here in Washoe County? Because this year, now all of the other counties followed Larry Lomax's lead and lumped us into other. Mm -hmm. So just a few months ago. Okay. And it's on Facebook. You can see on the Facebook page people are complaining. Why does my thing say other? This was like six months ago. Is there some kind of formal complaint, register a formal complaint with the voter, with the registrar's office? Yes. The best way is to get an attorney to do it and sue them. Oh, okay. But... Any voter is, has standing in this matter. Any registered voter has standing in court in this matter. If I was living in Nevada, I would be suing them. I don't have standing. Um, I have standing in California. So what the Greens should do is sue them for obstruction. Um, and but yeah, that's, maybe that's a first point of order for yeah. the group once the group gets together. Well, we are the group. We are currently the highest body of the Green Party of Nevada, you all right now. Legally, there's three of you. The bylaws say once there's three in the room, you're it. You're the Green Party. 
Can I motion to have us wait until Friday to do the voting, and then that gives us two days mm -hmm. to get to uh, close the nomination? So, uh, yeah, question, close the nominations and then start the weekend. Yeah. We don't currently have a treasurer, but do we have a treasury? Do we yes. have any funds? There is a treasury. Um, I suspect because it has been the bank account has been inactive, it's it's just frozen. And what will need to happen is once the treasurer's designated, um, he or she will bring this new form to the bank, the bank with, with an officer. So it'll be the treasurer and the co-chair. God, if we've been down this road, which bank? We'll go to the Bank of America. Uh, Why would the Green Party use Bank of America? I'm guessing. Yeah. That'll be our second order. Be, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing. Yeah, credit union. <laughs> well, let me tell you. Let me tell you. In California, we switched when everybody was yeah, we'll pissed and switched. So yeah, we. We got consensus on that. We're out of there. Yeah. Uh, we, we are advocating for local credit 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 units. Yeah. We, we bank at Great Basin, we've been yeah. there for a long time, and I remember when that whole week or two weeks when people were switching, went down to the bank's like, wow, there's a line, I don't believe it. I know, <laughs> I know. And we got in there, and it was like, so, we got up to there, and it was like, wow, what's going on? It's like, just we just come in and say, nope, we got a whole bunch of people that are all uh, signing up. Yeah. yeah. So we have about 30 more minutes of official meeting time. I didn't realize we were on camera. Is that Vegas? Hi, Vegas. Is yeah. everybody there? You're kind of off frame, but if That's you okay. That works in. Good. So the motion. I, I, I second your motion. Yeah, I, I so can we restate the motion? Um, For the record? The, close the nominations Friday evening at 9, and then we could do the voting on Friday. Okay, so nominations until this coming Friday at 9 yeah, p.m.? That's, that's the 22nd, yeah. Okay. And did somebody second that? Okay, so they will close it this this coming Friday at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Nominations will close. Right. Okay. And, and then, then it's an online vote from there as well. Or then we should may have a motion on the. Uh, let me just refresh the group's uh, knowledge of the voting process. Um, the current process is. IRV instant runoff voting for the co-chair and treasurer positions will be instant runoff voting. Um, so, and then the other positions. You sent out an email with all this. Yeah. Okay. The other positions. Yeah. What I'd like to suggest to the to the body is. Um, I could write an email to the group with the suggested uh, voting process that you all define today. And then if it's good, then we'll post that publicly for whatever the duration of the week, I guess, however the process is. But let me just tell you, we, the last time we voted for in 2010 to renew the officers, we just did it in an email list by consensus. Took a few days. Now, our, did you get pretty good response from email from people that way? Yeah, we at the time we had a list serve with a few hundred people on it, and there there was it was easy to get consensus in just a few days. Oh, now you've got that list that you got from the registrar that doesn't seem to be real. I mean, it's real, you know what I mean, it's, it's like it's, you haven't been able to confirm a bunch of the names. You've got us. Mm -hmm. What else do we have for contacts and people? We have the physical mailing address for approximately 3,000 Greens. So how do we connect with them to let them know there's this election mm -hmm. thing going on? What, what I would suggest to the group here is one way is we could just do a paper ballot and mail it to them all. Um, and on that paper ballot, they would have to sign their legal name and mail it back. There's 408 people that like the Green Party of Nevada on Facebook. Are you a manager of the, who's the managers of the Facebook There are pages? currently four 
admins for the Facebook group. I'm an admin. Okay. Craig Berglund, a former governor candidate, is an okay. admin. Uh, Billy Howard is an admin. He is the past co-chair. Okay. And he, up until a few days ago, maintained the GPNB website which is now, it seems like it's dormant or something. I think he put it on a dormant status because of this transition. Mm -hmm. um, so he, and one other person, Christina uh, Lai, is an admin. Um, so we, we currently have four admins of the Facebook page. And how Christina became an admin is several months ago, she made her, during Jill Stein's campaign for president, Christina Lai made herself known to the group, desperately trying to get people to get it together yeah. and help Jill Stein. And the group didn't respond to her. Then, Earl, thankfully, Earl Ammerman, former candidate for Congress from Reno, um, was an admin. And he said, hey, you should probably be the admin because you're, uh, you're the last DC person standing. And I said, okay, I'll be an admin. And then I responded to Christina Lai. I said, you're absolutely right. Um, would you be interested in being an admin? And, and then she agreed. Uh, and then she, uh, and she's willing to be considered as an at-large. But I think her plate's a little busy because she's on the group, the youth, uh, the national youth group for the Greens. Hmm. So if someone were gonna register for the party online, is that through the Secretary of State's website? Yeah, if they, yes. If they register online, it gets recorded to the county. The Washoe they, County Register of Voters, if they're in Washoe County. Mm -hmm. You can go in there and oh, register. She's in change. Las Vegas, but I'm trying to. Oh, okay. I'm trying to balance statewide. <laughs> and you're going to send us out the mail, and is that going to be the same thing? Do the voting register. website that we all go to to vote? And well, then we'll hand over. Um, Green Party of California has. The, I think it's Drupal software to do an online vote, and it works great. And if, if, if I can secure that from them, I'll just create a page for the online vote. And then I'll send it to as many green emails as we get. For many of our greens are not online, and I think it would be ideal to send a paper ballot to the people who aren't, we don't have emails for it. There, that would be a cost. Right. And I'm guessing of the 4,000 addresses, we probably have 1,000 to, to 3,000 maybe good ones. Um, but that's a lot of money if you do a paper ballot to every single green. Mm -hmm. um, I, but it could also re-engage them in the party could totally re-engage it. And could, we, could we do it? I mean, like, the way I would approach it, if we wanted to do that, if we had the funding to in our bank account, which is hopefully not a Bank of America, uh, we could send it out and also say, hey, help us register three of your friends to be Green Party members or something like that. So kind of combine voting for the officers and um, Registration. We, we, no one we else can't get might. the banking thing figured out between now and next right. week. Right. There's no way. I so promise you that, having gone yeah. through some of these bank... <laughs> well, I'm, I'm guessing Oops. the bank is, account is dormant, and they. what happens is after X period of months of, of inactivity, inactivity, the bank basically freezes the account. And then the, I believe the I believe the, the the state law says those funds revert to the state treasury. So all three dollars or whatever that was in there. There wasn't anything in there anyway. Um, there was likely very little in there. But you could find out from the. Yeah. With the. With we could figure that out. Kate Marshall now. Like Let me the, just tell I you like what the bank make, account is the last of our worries. I'd like to make a suggestion. Yeah. Because yeah. the ones that we do have emails for. Maybe um, sending out an email to those people saying, um, you know, could you maybe update your information with this, make sure that phone numbers are current and everything like that, addresses and stuff. And then also ask those people if they know of any other greens and just explain that, you know, we only have maybe emails for like, you know, a 
a fifth or whatever of the Small registered thing. party in the state of Nevada, if they could, if they could please uh, get other Greens to go ahead and update their information on that, just sort of get it out through emails to get other Greens that are that we don't have contact information for to update their information to get everybody to where they're on a contact list, something like. I'm, so I'm posting to the Green Party of Nevada site right now. I'm saying the state party meetings are currently underway. Nominees for EC are being uh, listed. Being listed. And then I'll type in that there's been a motion. Would you say that was how many people, Dave? 408. So that's only 408. That's only... And there's no way of knowing if they like us on Facebook. There's no way of knowing right. if they're registered members or if they're actually Republicans trolls or, or trolls or whatever. Or, yeah. Yes, I I have that, I have software where I can see who each of them is and confirm their geographic location. Um, That's okay. creepy. <laughs> yeah, it's called it's called well, it's called Nation Builder. Yeah. Oh, and okay. All the political people are using yeah. it. It's 19 bucks a month for the first 2,000 people. Um, all right, I just posted, state party meetings are currently underway. Nominees for EC are being listed. So I, I should um, now I'll say that uh, the, 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 Reno, the Reno body, what, what's our official name for this? We are the basically we're, we're the, the Washoe County. We're like the General Assembly. We are the um, there's a legal term. Um, How many registered meetings did they have in Las Vegas tonight? This is the this we are members of the general meeting. That's that's what it is. You guys are members. Of so in Vegas, are they just watching us? I can't believe it. In Vegas, Vegas they, like they are the have doing what we are doing. They so they could have some nominees too. Yes. Here. And so okay. far, they've had two. I would think two. it would completely be the other way around. They've sent us two. Um, we don't know how many of them there are. Miller, are there. Miller and Lay oh, okay. are the two. So we don't know how many showed oh, up for their meeting. Yeah. yeah. Six, six had RSVP. Uh, one of the six bailed at the last minute because he had to go into work. And yeah, excuses. Yeah. Okay. Do we need to vote on that motion or no, or is it yes. not that Yes, we need. Call I'm going to type in. There <laughs> is a motion in Reno uh, that the nominee period for EC candidates be. Extended. I don't know. What is EC? Uh, e Executive, Executive Council. Council. Oh, okay. Yeah. EC can. I can write it out. Uh, be extended to Friday. 9 p.m. Friday. Uh, what day is that? 22nd. So you March, think nine because you figure after that March and October. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. 2013, nine <laughs> it's a cut off there, right? PM uh, Pacific. Pacific. Yeah. Yeah. Pacific yeah. Yeah. After that. Okay. There is a motion in Reno that the there is a motion in Reno that the nominee period for EC candidates be extended. To Friday, March twenty second, two thousand thirteen, nine. Okay. Then we. Then we. Then is there a second? There was a second. Okay. Yeah. Second. Oh, this internet's so slow. Is the, are you talking to the people watching the camera, or are you talking to Facebook? Or they are watching yes. this Facebook page. I am recording this digitally. This will be on YouTube tomorrow. Oh, it's not. It's not like somebody's actually watching it right now. No, because the the our um, live stream connection. Uh, I, I attempted a live stream and the internet connection here isn't whippy enough to do it. Oh. And um, the speed is too slow. And so Brandon wasn't able to confirm. So he's wondering why we never con connected with him. Oops. Okay. Because we wanted to take over the party ourselves. Yeah. Totally That's it. Conspiracy. <laughs> it's, it's a coup. We're merely the Southern sister, you know. Yeah, kind of this will be, be a really fun yeah, video. Yeah, Vegas is just a <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
Mm. It's transparency at its finest. Yeah. Even better yeah, than WikiLeaks. That's why we take the Cardone building where you got to stand outside okay. and hope somebody. So the motion it. has been seconded. <laughs> this internet's really Sitting slow. The going. motion Thanks. has been seconded. They're probably using the internet downstairs, and if they're closer to it, then they'll steal the signal. Oh, I should be doing this on really? Twitter. Oh, well, it's okay. You're kidding me, really? Yeah, if you're closer to the wireless. Like server. the signal's like, oh, I think I'll go that way because it's closer. Or... Yeah, if you have, like, if you're closer, you have better signal strength, and then it prioritizes the better signal strength. All right. All right. So I think we're good. I we, it so, it's like when you're wireless at the hotel, if they give you the 23rd floor, it's, it's like dial it would be faster. So we have to re. Now we have to vote. No, we forget how slow dial up really oh, We're voting for the motion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have motioned and seconded. <laughs> and so now we should vote. Uh, are there any opposed to having the candidate nomination period extend to Friday, March 2nd? 2013, 9 p.m. PST. March 22nd. Hey, wait. 22nd? Yeah, we said 2nd. Oh, 22nd, sorry. And that was March, like a couple weeks ago. Friday, Friday, March 22nd, excuse me, uh, 2013, uh, 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, all opposed? All in favor? Okay, it's, the motion is unanimous. All right. All right. Um, Hopefully Vegas isn't voting on something completely different. If Vegas is right. right. yeah, 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 we might have conflicting right motions. Now, yeah. well, they might be popping it up on Facebook if they're The waiting. motion. Right. They're probably down there going, yeah, let's How many people are in Vegas in the meeting right now? Uh, yeah. five. five. Five? Five so, wow. confirmed, maybe 20 maybes. So mm. They could be taking over the whole state right now. The motion to extend has this been will give everybody a chance. approved. To nominate so. unanimous. See if see of the five people there, if they don't have three registered greens, their meeting's not official. But these are concurrent meetings, so they're basically the same meeting. However, we don't have linkage very good, so it's they it's arguable. It, it's like arguable in court. There's no linkage. <laughs> unanimous, unanimous. Are they saying anything? Yeah, yeah, they're saying, what's up with the link? Other than, <laughs> other than what's up with the link, what are they saying? The motion to extend has been approved unanimously. Well, I feel like we should that was from that. us or from them? I don't, That's from us. I feel like we shouldn't say that, but I shouldn't. Oh, no, I can change it. I'll edit it. Because we don't know what they said, and if it's the same meeting. Oh, okay. Can, 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 is there a way you can email say what's going on with yes, you Yes, let me message her. Let go of the link. <laughs> What's going on? Yeah. I don't want to like make them mad at us before we even meet them. <laughs> All right. That is it's unanimous here. How about down there? <laughs> well we I will remind you, we are the official body <laughs> of this excuse me, you all are the official body, you are the highest <clears throat> decision making body of the state party currently. I know you're just testing our power desirability no. yeah, control, but well, why couldn't they be doing for the same? For the next 18 minutes. Oh, okay. But I mean, why? Because, because you're here, is it because you guys are here? How is no. The bylaws say that at this meeting that was publicly called, if there are three registered greens, it becomes the official deal. But they could have three registered right. greens in Vegas right mm -hmm. now, right? And their yes. meeting was also called, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. So they could be the highest body simultaneously mm -hmm. as us being. See what I'm saying? I like that. Yeah, they could be, but <laughs> but it's one meeting, uh, right? I mean, it's it's, it's one meeting. meeting. So, so together, they, collectively, well, I like it. That they way. are they are concurrent meetings, uh -huh. and and if the, if we figured out they passed something that conflicts with what we passed, then we'll have to resolve it. Mm. What about we, the group in Tonopah? Yeah, but we posted it on Facebook first, joke? so <laughs> yeah, that overrides, right? Yeah. How about let's hear it for Gab? Okay. So, um, um, I'll say, Christina. You know, there's some greenies. Christina, in we so? just I don't know. We just <laughs> made a. I'll just say a motion. I'll just, I won't tell her we already yeah, decided. They got a pretty part. Right? Motion yeah. to extend yeah, the nice nomination yeah. period through. Friday. Friday. Uh, can LV, uh, what is it, meeting? 
meaning vote on this also. And oh, and I'll ask her, are there how many of you are there registered? Three are there three or more registered? How many greens registered are we green? In Las Vegas. At oh we not me, tell me, I'm telling you okay. four. Four. We've got tons of greens. We're like so chock a block greens. So I said, Christina, we just made a motion to extend the nomination period through Friday. Can LB meeting vote on this also? Are there three or more registered greens in LB at the meeting? And then if she says everybody split, then that means we're, we're it. Okay. And then what I would suggest is... Uh, Did they nominate anybody down there? Yeah, they nominated William Miller and Christina Lai. And both of those people... Christina Lai is a Green. You said the one is an Independent. William Miller, I believe, is nonpartisan. Nonpartisan. Mm -hmm. yeah. Must That's be willing to become a Green if yeah. he's yeah. willing to run for office. So he would have to register... For? He, uh, both for at large. Okay. My wife and I first moved, we registered as an independent, not thinking that it was because we came here from Arizona. Arizona yeah. independent is nonpartisan. Mm -hmm. And we come to that. find out when we got our voter card, it says independent party. It's like, what's this? Yeah. yeah. I bet oh. that's how they get a lot of their members. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Probably. Or so we call the registrars. <laughs> office it says we vote registered as an independent not to any party they said oh well then you want nonpartisan is what you want so we corrected that or you or you can say so what else do we need to do this meeting besides that this date for next meeting okay um yeah, somebody just commented, Katie Collins said, unless someone in Vegas voted no, hope you guys are still there. And, th and then I wrote, uh, yes, we have asked LB for a vote tally also. Okay, so, so okay, the, the outstanding issues are... So we don't know if they're there even, they're not even confirming there. Okay, the next thing is, okay. after the call for nominees, uh, I had in here, we don't have to do it, but um, statements by nominees. So do any of the nominees want us? And I think that could probably happen online. You could do a bio statement or something as okay. part of the election process, right? Okay, we should we should we should consider de defining the election process a little more. Uh, in our next, we have 12 more minutes. Are we going to default this to Facebook for now, or? So he said he has like some program that he's hoping to be able to get from mm -hmm. California. Yeah, we have a voter page that's a, I think it's Drupal, and we do um, the I'm I'm on the. But we could do statements on there too, or each candidate. Is gets that just for the vote? Yeah, how we do it on Drupal is we write a narrative, and the narrative could include a list of all the candidates with their bios. Okay. And then there's a discussion period of a week typically, and then there's a voting period of a week. And that, that's how we've done it in California. Um, we could do something like that here, but the last, the, the historical precedent was in 2010, um, we just did it via email. And, and that, that's how these uh, people were elected. Um, Stacey Shin, co-chair, Billy Howard, co-chair, Dennis Flack, treasurer, Craig Berglund, secretary, David Curtis is me, at large, Kathy Rusco, at large. Those people were elected via email in 2010. Do we have a central email address people can send their bios to? No. We've been using the facilitator's email, which is me. So we should get a Gmail or something. Mm -hmm. I, and, yes. Um, our, the problem is uh, Bill, Billy Howard uh, is the webmaster for the official, the formerly official state party website, GP, uh, domain, G gpnv.org. He had the keys. I don't know if he's renewed that domain or what. Uh, if you click on it now, it's not active. So um, basically, I'm like the circuit judge who rode into town. So I'm, tr I'm trying to develop the process with you all, but you, 
your party, depending on what lawyer you talk to, doesn't exist at the moment. Uh, legal. What's the governor's office status? It's, 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 it's in, um, what's the word? Yeah, I'm you are, default, but it's, the uh, Secretary of State you know. says that yeah. you are a minor party with non-ballot access. But it doesn't have so, a could we, could we make the motion that we, like, that we'll post statements on Facebook? Yes. So people can read the statements on Facebook and then we'll yes. use the platform for voting. You, or do you yes. want, or do you Until want to be the facilitator it. where we all email our statements to you, and then you load them into the site? Since I'm an admin for the Facebook page already, it would be really convenient to just use that as a temporary device to define your election process. Okay. And and the the danger of that is there are three other admins, so just know that that platform has four admins currently. Any admin can go in and delete other admins. Yes. If they're not if they're ex party there could be or a, something. There could be a coup. Well couldn't you have Facebook could. <laughs> I could delete the you other three admins. admins. He could go delete them. You can right. change their well, status. You don't have to delete right. them, yes. but you can change their And I I would stand. ask them. And yeah. Christina Christina Lai, um, okay, during the transition period, here's let me give you the history. Um, Earl Ammerman was the admin and then he was not able to devote time to it, and he contacted me a month or two ago and said, can you be the admin? Right. And I'm like, okay, I'll be the admin. And then um, I wanted a backup person, so I, I picked Christina because she's already active with the GPUS. And then Earl dropped off, and then Craig Berglund was made an admin, I believe also by Earl. I think Earl made Craig Berglund an admin and dropped off. So Craig Berglund and myself are both the last two governor candidates for the party. So that's as good as you get for vetting. Yeah. And then. Um,